In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the shatter effect to create exploding text or videos. So, all I've got right now is a text layer open. All I did was grab the type tool and click and type out whatever I want. And in the character panel, I can change the font and size and different attributes about the text. And in the align panel, I can also choose to center this if I want just some. Basics before we start, you can't. If you can't find any of those windows, you can find them under Window, and just check them on now in the Effects panel. I can look for one called Shatter that's in the Simulation Effects folder, and I can click and drag it onto our text layer that we just created, and you should see this wireframe pop up. So in the Effect Controls panel, you see the Shatter effect, and there's actually a lot of different options here. I'm going to give you a basic introduction, but the view is where we'll start. This is right now just showing you the wireframe and the different forces that you have. So this is what that default shatter is going to look like. But if you actually want to see what's happening to your layer, you can just change it to rendered and now you can see what it looks like on your text. So the default is just this brick shape. Now how do we change that? If we go to the shape, we can choose the different patterns. So this is where it might be useful to turn the wireframe back on. Just so you can see the different shapes that are happening. And let's just check around at some of them. You have Chevron's puzzle pieces. There's a bunch, and you can even actually create a custom shape and just tell After Effects which layer that shape is on. But for now, what I'll be using is the glass chatter. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's one that a lot of people might be interested in using. So, cool. The next thing that you can change is the repetitions. So the lower this amount, sort of the bigger the pieces are, and the higher this amount, the more repeated this pattern gets, and the more fine texture you get. You can also change things about the origin points of the shatter. So like the point of impact or the direction, and also the depth. So the depth is going to be how sort of how deep each one of these pieces are. And you'll see if you increase it a lot and turn back on the render mode, you see the depth in this case a lot easier just visually. So how deep each one of those shards gets the next thing we have is forces. So the force is also the thing that's actually making it shatter. And this could be a way that you could use to animate it. So if we keep the force radius at zero at first, and then add a keyframe, so let's add a keyframe, let's say, when we want it to shatter, and then increase the radius, that could be one way to animate. And if I press play on that, see how that looks, that way we can keep the text on for a certain amount of time, and then have it explode. Also you have the position, but this is again, like the point of impact of this force, and also the strength, so the harder it shatters, or the weaker it shatters. So, let's see what that looks like that's just a really gentle crack, and then everything sort of falls with gravity. Whereas if I crank the strength up, everything just fully explodes out, you also have a second force option, use. So let's say I wanted one crack to happen on the right, and one crack to happen on the left. I can use these two different forces to create a combination of shatters. So maybe, and also I can, I can change when they start. So maybe if I want to do two impacts, I can have this shatter be at zero radius, and then by the time this one already starts, then I can turn this one on. So just playing around with some different things here. This is what a weak crack and then another impact would look like, so that's like two points of impact hitting at different times, but aside from the final few options here. You have the physics, so when all these pieces shatter you can choose how fast they fall how randomly they shatter the level of gravity in the composition, so a lot of these you can just sort of play around with, see how they affect things when you play it, and you have some options for different camera angles of the shatter and using your own composition camera. But in these cases, you can sort of spin the composition around to a different perspective. And also you can change the lighting as well, so you can make it a more intense light. You can make it more like a point light or a distant light. And you can change the color of the light as well. So a lot of these options are self-explanatory, but you can play around with them. But with this basic introduction, you should be able to have the most important parts, so that you can create shattered text if you want. So if you enjoyed this effect tutorial in After Effects, and learned about the shatter effect, you can find hundreds of more tutorials in the playlist on my channel, and going over all of the different effects in After Effects. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.